Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development uh, and Support Service at National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, dealing with the theory of interest and more importantly dealing with our, our mortgage sinking fund and annuity formula is going to concentrate on a, the calculation of a sinking fund. Okay, uh, The scenario with respect to a sinking fund runs works something like this. Okay, Let's assume that you're a manager or you're, you're somebody that needs to purchase you know that let's say in five years time that your company is going to require that its IT equipment be replaced okay and what you'd like to do is you'd like to be prudent with respect to this because we know that computer equipment uh, I suppose uh, has a particular lifespan associated with it okay so what you need to do is you need to re uh, replace your computer equipment in five years time as an example Okay. And in five years time you estimate that you're going to require four hundred thousand euros or four hundred thousand dollars to make that, that particular purchase. And the question that we have now is how much should you save each year? Okay, or how much should you invest each year, okay, uh, so that you can actually meet that particular uh, liability in five years' time. Okay, so let's just put down a particular scenario. So the scenario is something like this, okay? Uh, okay. You expect okay, okay, you expect that you will need that that you will need to replace okay 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 your IT infrastructure okay your IT infrastructure infrastructure okay uh, where am I going infrastructure okay uh, in five years time okay you estimate you estimate okay okay that this will cost okay will cost let's say four hundred thousand euros okay four hundred thousand euros okay and let's just make another assumption let's say if interest rates if interest rates okay okay uh, are expected are expected to average to average, let's say 3.47 percent. Okay, okay. Well then, how much? How much should you invest? Okay, each year, each year, to cover, to cover your liability, your liability. Okay. So let's think about this from a time perspective. Okay, so let's just let's just do a li little bit of a chart here. Okay, so from a time perspective, so time is running down here. Okay, uh, it's today, one year in one year's time, two years, three years, four years, five years time. Okay, uh, and what you know is this: is that in five years time, not today. Okay, not today. Not after a year has elapsed, not after two years has elapsed, not after three, not after four, but after five years has elapsed, you're going to require, you're going to require 400,000 euros, okay? That's what you're going to require, okay, after five years has elapsed. And the question now is this, okay, let's say your investments, okay, your investments, okay, the question is, okay, now you're not going to start your investments today, okay? So you're not going to start them today. You're just you've noticed that you will require a certain amount of money in the future, and you want to start saving in the future. So you're not going to start your investments today, albeit we could. But let's just keep this simplified. That we have no initial uh, initial let's say uh, installment into into this particular investment fund. Okay. But at the end of year one, we're going to have an investment. Okay, we'll invest here. At the end of year two, we're going to invest a certain amount of money. At the end of year three, we'll invest. We'll invest at the end of year four, and then we'll have a final payment. Okay, so we'll have a final payment into into our particular account. And the question now that we have is, what should these particular investments be at the end of each year, so that when we total this up, so that the total, okay, that the total will meet this particular liability, okay. So let's hope we'll meet this liability. Okay? And once again, what we're going to do is we're going to use our mortgage sinking fund annuity formula to solve this problem. So our formula, let's just uh, pull the formula out of sky again. Okay, We have got a derivation in a previous video. Okay? The formula says something like this, that an is equal to a0 times 1 plus i raised to the power of n plus f times 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus f divided by i. Okay. 
where I, where AN, we're considering this to be an account, okay? Where we have money going in, we have money going out, we have a balance at a particular period of time, there's an interest rate associated with the account, account and so on and so forth. So AN uh, is the future, is the future balance of this account, okay? A0 is the initial, is the initial balance or the initial investment or the initial borrowings, yeah? So it's an initial amount, okay? Uh, I, F is the annual, is the annual uh, payments in or let's say payments out of the account. So it's the annual amount going, going in, going in, coming out of the account, coming out, okay? Of the account. Uh, I is the interest rate, is the interest rate, and N is the number of years, okay? So N is how many years, okay? Now in our situation here, let's just see what we have, okay, in relation to the information, okay? Uh, once again, A N, uh, we have A zero, we have F, we have I, and we have N, okay? So in our scenario, okay, in five years time, okay, in five years time, okay, we will require 400,000 euros. Now that's in five years time. So we've given two pieces of information there. The number of years is five for five years, okay? And the future amount in the account should be 400,000 euros. In other words, the balance in the account should be 400,000 euros in five years time. And AN always represents the future balance. The balance at any particular moment in time is always AN. So AN should be 400,000 euros thousand euros okay four hundred thousand euros or dollars okay you can see also that we're told that the interest rate the interest rate is 3.4 percent okay so we have that particular piece of information so the interest rate is 3.4 percent that's 3.47 divided by 100 which gives us 0 